blockchain is what going paperless was like 30 years ago when people were like that makes sense it's efficient but everybody was losing their shit over going paperless the dinosaurs that didn't are now extinct the folks that did go paperless have built efficiencies and scales so again they're they're here with us today we have access to cigarettes we have access to alcohol. We, we know both of them will kill you. We know this, it's a fact, right? So why limit our access to something that we know won't kill you? I used to be over 200 pounds, and like this is actually what helped me realize everything I need to change in my life. If you go to a state that hasn't regulated marijuana and you want to buy cannabis, go to the high schools. That's where they are in states where it's not regulated. We're a normal business, but yet we're not able to access traditional bank accounts. It's politics and money. The federal government just won't do it, so somebody has to. And they were celebrating. Pot shops are coming to Nevada. We're going to be robbing them. And it's been happening. There are consistent crimes that take advantage of the fact that they know there's cash. dad's a disabled veteran. When I was uh, 12 years old, I caught him smoking pot. He explained to me that it was really the only thing that gave him his quality of life back. This isn't something that's causing health issues, that's damaging society. People are, you know, finding relief where they haven't been able to find relief before. It's not about getting high anymore. There's really a lot of benefits to it. Every veteran should have full access to it. It should be included in their health care plan. The gratitude that I feel for being able to be a part of it and the impact that we make on people's lives. I think that's like the big thing for me. Whenever I got up in the morning and spoke to the joint or even a couple of puffs before they started the day, the whole world would would uh, be peaceful. From a medical perspective, it's really something that we should have been allowing people to use decades ago. The point for some people will be tax revenue. The point for some people will be eliminating the illegal market. The point for some people will be the fact that their people are suffering and they're looking for alternatives. So once you accept the medical facts, and once you see the opportunity from a government to generate revenue and to protect it, and then protect the fact that the product will be safe, the problem with where we live today is how do we actually transact? How do you bank this industry? Under the federal laws, no banks here are doing business with uh, dispensaries or cannabis-related industries. The regulatory framework where it's illegal at the federal level and regulated at the state level creates this huge issue for access to banking. We're talking about the only industry in the developed world that's forced to transact in cash. There are numerous security and safety challenges around moving the volumes of cash that we're talking about. New video of a medical marijuana dispensary getting robbed. The violent robbery at a marijuana store in Denver. This crime could actually be part of a larger pattern. And no matter what job you work at, there's a possibility of being robbed. But when it is an all-cash business, that possibility jumps up so high that I feel like they are putting us in a bigger danger than we need to be. Within the next 12 months, we'll probably see 40 states legalizing medical and 25 or so in the recreational. What are we gonna do with all this cash that's growing and growing and you can't put it into a bank account? The banking issue is a really important one. Uh, sales are, are much greater than forecasted. People just literally take bags of money down to the, to the tax department. And they, they had to hire more people to count the money. They had to hire, buy huge machines to count the money. There's gonna be a disaster um, just waiting to happen. This is a market where safety is an issue now, where compliance is an issue, where capital is streaming in, where a mistake could be costly. As soon as that starts to really bubble up to the surface more, you can be sure elected officials are going to be saying, we need to do something about that now. This industry is growing faster here than I think anyone had anticipated. got $30 million to our tax revenue fund. I mean, we're super excited about that. So how has it affected the state? Unbelievably well.
We saw the cannabis space as being one of the greatest opportunities to demonstrate the utility and usefulness of blockchain technology. People come in and will leave for the fact that it's cash only because of the ATM charges. I work on all legislation that, that impacts public safety. We have very large amounts of, of cash being transported. I see that as a, as a big public safety risk. How do you create a system that is more efficient? more traceable and, and transparent than a cash system. The cryptocurrency and the TOKES platform is trying to solve that conundrum. When we talk to government officials, one of the biggest things they talk about is safety and security over and over, right? And so I think a platform like TOKES with elements like that built into it is huge. The Merchant Gateway is going to facilitate transactions taking cryptocurrency in the same way they would cash or credit card. It ensures that proper taxes are being paid, that you're not having diversion of product, that you're not having uh, money laundering. Now you've got the cash out of the system. Our mission is to take what would appear to be very complicated technology and integration of these different softwares and make them ordinary everyday use for even the simplest business both for political reasons and simple technology reasons. You had a group of people start to create Bitcoin and blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies as a, an alternative to a system that seems to be breaking at the seams. We're used to governments, banks, and the companies that we do business with having our data stored on their centralized servers and it forces us to trust these entities that we do business with. All of that data creates an environment where the tracking makes the entire idea of privacy seem childlike and, and naive. Every generation is rebellious. They all want to give a middle finger to the man. Blockchain technology has a good chance on delivering on that promise. I think people are starting to see the light of day that, that there's potentially a better economic system that exists out there. Blockchain is nothing more than a database. So in the case of Bitcoin, that happens to be a database of transactions, but you can store virtually any information that you would like to on this database. The government's biggest fear is the introduction of black or gray market product into a legal supply chain. The regulators want to track the plant all the way to the consumer. The product grown in the state needs to stay in the state, and products sold in the state needs to have also been cultivated in the state. When you introduce blockchain into the picture, it is 100% obvious how it will be implemented. We had the emerging cannabis industry coming at us like full force. Now you have this blockchain coming at us at full force. I, I don't believe in coincidences. You could provide them a solution that ties this currency to a, the seed to sell tracking, which is where Tox is going with this. I think that's really exciting. Whether it's Tokes or Bitcoin or Litecoin, or you can say they want to do something better for the world. We do want to champion the cannabis movement. In fact, we launched this company under a uh, banner of the Cannabis Revolution. What Tokes and these type of ecosystems represent is almost like, um, was it the red pill? in the matrix to give them freedom and to let them free their mind and free themselves. Authority figures are not in control of us and we are our own banks. It's really about understanding the benefits through the adoption of cryptocurrency that provides the power to the people that are using the money to be able to spend it um, and control it in their own fashion and likewise uh, the way that people are empowered by the cannabis industry to consume products that they feel are good for them. As a consumer, you're going to be able to walk into a dispensary, use your credit or debit card to check out on that kiosk, and walk out with your cannabis product. It's no different than your standard checkout process. We are working with companies like Vault Logic to provide easy consumer access at the dispensary level. We've developed a bankless ATM to serve any sort of cash-heavy business without bank accounts. On the back end, the debit or credit transaction is going to be purchasing tokes. The dispensary is then going to be taking custody of those tokes, and in exchange for tokes, the consumer gets their cannabis product. They have features that just other seed to sales don't even look at. We're also giving them the ability to convert between alternative cryptocurrencies and between stable assets. One of those is a cryptocurrency that always trades at $1, and I think that is one of the things that creates adoption. 
will allow them to not bear any of the volatility risk of cryptocurrency. This is a solution that spans well outside of cannabis. We'll have a white labeled version that the average user can uh, set up an online storefront with. They have the most streamlined inventory management system I've seen to date. Virtually any merchant can utilize that within their business if they're interested in accepting cryptocurrency. You can just load up some products, some inventory uh, in our modular storefront, and then you can immediately start accepting cryptocurrency in that capacity. We want merchants worldwide to be able to look at this software as something that's easy, it's something that's intuitive to use, it has a clean interface, something that can potentially attract a whole new demographic of clientele to their business because they accept cryptocurrency. It's super positive for the industry. You have to be adaptable. You have to, you know, look to other ways around the red tape. You have coins like tokes that are made for us to make our lives easier, both the consumer and the retailer. Let's say tomorrow Jeff Sessions decides to stop his aggressive attacks on the cannabis space and you know, follows kind of Trump's lead and says, you know what, let's back off on this and let's look at legalizing it across the board. If that were to be lifted, it would only boom our business and our space. There's far more utility that we're producing within our software than just providing financial solutions. Distributed network that allows complete transparency of financial transactions is likely where we're heading as a global economy anyway. We do have the ability to expand into virtually every industry that has a logistical challenge or a supply chain challenge. And that's most businesses, by the way. There's gonna be boom and bust cycles where there's gonna be a lot of businesses created, and then many of them will go away and you'll just be left with the best. And cryptocurrency is no different. These are guys with integrity. They're smart. They have a long-term vision. Any merchant worldwide can use this. And they will. I think it's inevitable. This is one of the best communities I've ever been a part of. I mean, the people here are just amazing. It's time in the history of sport that any expansion team has made it to the championship final. In the history of sport. Go Knights! Go! <laughs> That's why I think that it should actually be legalized everywhere. Because now all the money and the taxes are going to go into the roads and the schools. We're going to have a better foundation to our economy. My home has gone up about two to three hundred percent, and I would attribute that to legalization of cannabis, how it's bringing businesses to the state, how it's bringing uh, people to come live in the state and work in the industry, how it's brought investment into the state in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions. It's a plant that's been kept from the public for far too long. Oh, it's helping thousands and thousands of people. You don't get angry smoking weed. You don't smoke a blunt and then go beat somebody up. Someone who's been drinking will blow right through a stop sign. Somebody who's too high is going to stay there and wait for it to turn green.